<laughs> the homegirl roasted me. Check her out. It's time to go get it. Yeah. I used to be trapped with pigeon. Now I push start and crank the engine. Wrist on fridge and glisten. Listen, hundred round run with the biscuit. Why is she playing me? That's Sarah. What did I do to you to make you want to play me like that? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. That's my friend Sarah. We used to be co-workers and then we both uh, quit our job. She decided to roast me for some dumb, some weird reason. I don't know why. I didn't even know you watched these videos. Sarah, if you're watching this one, go ahead and follow her. She's real cool though. She's like, uh, she's in the videos and shit too. So go check her out. She's, she's real dope. All right, so right now I'm headed to the bank to do something that I have never actually done in my life. Here's something that I don't talk about that often, but right now at the age I am at, I am 24 years old. I've never once had a credit card in my entire life. To this point, I've bought everything that I own or have had in straight cash. Everything, cash, cash, cash. Because I was raised being taught that having a credit card is just evil. It's a bad decision. You should never have a credit card. But now I'm getting a little bit older. I'm really becoming interested in buying property. And I'm realizing that you cannot do any of that stuff without having a credit card. So I'm headed to the bank. Uh, I already applied for a credit card and I was accepted. So I have like a line of credit that has like $800 a month, which is like extremely minuscule, but it's something. So I'm gonna go pick up the credit card and start using it. Well, just left Chase and the struggle continues. Apparently they can't give me a credit card on the spot. I need to call this phone number and have them send it. They sent it to my last address in venice remember when i lived in that old apartment in venice with the blue stairs and the white uh so the credit card went there which makes me think like how much other mail have i missed out because it went to my old apartment in venice and at this point like i don't even there's no way for me to figure out like i i don't know probably some important documents like imagine if i got jury duty and it went to the old apartment in venice i changed my address to the dmv but that was probably like two weeks ago so uh hopefully i don't have jury duty and i don't know about it <laughs> either way uh, I gotta call Chase and figure out what's going on with this credit card. The whole reason I'm trying to get a credit card is so I can put money down on a condo. Like, I have a decent amount saved up right now, but I need to save up probably about four times what I currently have, which I think I can do by the end of the year. But I need credit. I have zero credit right now. I'm getting older and I still don't have any credit. So I need to start establishing my credit. I need to get my credit score up. Then I can apply for a loan. Then I can buy property. Then I can live in it. Then I can rent it out and be an adult. So that's my game plan right now. But that, that was a complete waste of time. Shouldn't even have gone to Chase. I'm gonna go get some food. But yeah, I'm gonna try and share more relevant things in my life with this vlog. Like, you know, like when I actually progress, like trying to get a credit card, that's like a, a mildly interesting narrative to carry you guys through with, right? Trying to establish credit as a 24 year old guy in LA. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a story you guys wanna hear. I'm assuming if you don't, let me know in the comments, bro. Let me know, smash the thumbs. I'm just kidding, do not do that. Smash the thumbs up button only. Thumbs up button only. All right, let's close things up real quick so we can get some uh, peace and quiet so I can talk to y'all. All right, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Uh, a lot of people have been buying merch from my website, hicksfam.com, which I appreciate with every ounce of my being. I thank everybody who's bought something from my website, but I need to keep it real with you guys. I have been slacking. I've been slacking when it comes to two things. One is customer service. Shout out to Northern Ireland, because there's a dude who just complained about his order, but thankfully I emailed him, we took care of it, so shout out to you. I'm not gonna say your name, but shout out to Northern Ireland, because he asked me to shout out Northern Ireland. But I've been slacking because I've been back ordered on a ton of orders. There's orders that go back almost a month that have not been shipped because I have not had the merch. It's easy for me to put the blame on somebody else because I had to find someone really reliable this time and I feel like I nailed it. The people over at Tuner Colt, like they have my back. Like they're like, yo, here's the prices, best prices I've ever paid. Here's when you're gonna get it. They've been on point as far as like when I'm actually gonna go pick the stuff up. Like right now I'm on the way to go get it after I get some food. So I'm, I'm, Day by day, I'm figuring it out. Trust me, it's on the top of my agenda every day. I'm like trying to figure out how to get the merch stuff more dialed and I feel like I finally got it. But I need to apologize to anybody who has not gotten a confirmation email for their order yet. Trust me, by the end of this week, everybody's order is gonna be taken care of. Everybody, nobody's gonna be left in the in the dust. Moving forward, it's not gonna be a problem anymore. I'm gonna be working with these guys at Tuna Cult. They, they're dialed, they just, they do this shit. 
Like they, I just want to apologize to everyone. I've been getting some really nasty emails lately regarding people who have not gotten their stuff. I take it personally because it's on me, you know? I feel like I need to be more on it. Soon it won't even be a problem because Tunicle's also going to be handling the distribution. But right now they're just making the merch for me. I still have to ship it all out myself. I do it in between making these videos, so it's really difficult. But if you have not gotten your stuff yet, you will very soon, I promise you. Back in the hood, it irritates some people that I eat the same thing over and over. Like that's just the type of, I don't know, I'm such a routine person. I'll eat one thing over and over and then I get tired of it and I don't eat it for months. But right now I'm eating this Chinese food spot. Real quick though, let's go through some comments. Yesterday someone left a very, very good comment on uh, my video. And uh, if you saw a video from yesterday, I was talking about buying a new car. And he left, uh, he left a comment with a ton of suggestions for what car I should buy. So we're gonna go through them together right now. Let me know in the comments if any of these cars sound like the one that I should get. First one, 2011 Audi A5. And the next one, 2017 VW Golf R. Then he says, 2017 Ford Focus RS. Cool car that has drift mode. The Subaru WRX STI. People comment on my channel all the time saying, get an STI, get an STI. I don't know, that's something to think about. 2005 Porsche 911. Low key seems like a step down from an M3 and not more practical. True. 2008 C-Class, that's actually the first cool car I ever drove. So before I had my M3, I had a 2006 BMW 330i. And the reason I bought that car is because my friend John Diaz, who now drives the GTR, his parents had a 2008 C300 and I fell in love with the car. So that's why I wanted to get like a nice car when I was young. Then he says silly car ideas. E30 M3, hell no. Cayman 718, hell no. Porsche 911, I mean, yeah. Miata MX-5 Mark One. Ferrari California. I found one on Craigslist the other day for 80 grand. So that's a, that's a thing. Lamborghini Gallardo Generation One. <laughs> At that point, I'm just like, what? That's a lot more than I'm trying to spend is 80 and 90 grand. I mean, it's it's feasible, but nah, I'm trying to buy property. I want something that appreciates, not something that depreciates. I want something that goes up in value, not down. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about that comment below, though. Did any of those cars sound appealing to you guys? I don't know which one you might want to see, but did any of those that I just said, leave your comment below what your favorite pick is. We'll have a vote. See, who, whoever gets the most upvotes, that's who we're going to talk about in the next video. Okay, eating this, next stop, tuna cold. Ooh, feeling inflated. Lime and olive on Anaheim Boulevard, east side Long Beach, new panda Chinese food. That's why we're getting a shrimp fried rice from. If you wanna come check it out. Feel like I'm gonna explode though. All right, about to go pick up this merch. Merch gig, let's get it. Look at this. They got this big ass flatbed for one tiny ass car. Uh, tuna cold G-Wagon. In case you missed the video from a, a few days ago, I'll do the poll again. Choose, would you take the G-Wagon or the M3? This defines what type of person you are. So let us know in the comments. Do you want to daily drive my M3 or their big ass G63 AMG G-Wagon, which you can drive over people on in? I kind of am leaning towards the G-Wagon, so that probably says a lot about the type of person I am too. Look at it, like it's beautiful. <laughs> Either way, let us know in the comments which one you prefer between these two. This or that. Looks like the back door is open, so I'm just gonna swing around the back. Sick. So these are, this is, well, it's not new, but this is the second revision line of merch done by the wonderful people at Tuner Cult. We now have hoodies once again. I know a lot of people have been asking me about getting hoodies back. Black tanks, Heather Gray tanks, and black shirts. Trust me, your order's coming soon. Sorry, sorry for the delay, but it's coming. Boom! Yeah, boom, boom! Boxes. Boxes on boxes of merch, ready to go to you guys. And the biggest thing is that we now once again have hoodies. We got hoodies on site. Hoodies in medium, large, extra large. Get one now. Hurry, time, limited offer. New merch, new hoodies. If you haven't got a hoodie yet, now's the time. Get one, get you one. I haven't had hoodies in a while. Now we got them again, so if you want a hoodie, now is the time to get one at a good price. Humongous thanks to Mo at Tunicol, man. This guy's like schooling me on so many different aspects of merch and life. Definitely check out the channel, they're in the description. Nothing I'm doing right now would be possible without them when it comes to the merch. Like they're holding me down 100%. So shout out to them all the way through. Anyways, I have not even touched my bike today. So I'm headed back to Long Beach. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna go ride with Markel. Let's get it. Oh uh, man, okay, it's already like 6 p.m. This day has flown by. 
parked hella illegal. I'm gonna grab my bike. I gotta change. Grab my GoPro. Looks like it's gonna be a one vlog day. I know a lot of guys, a lot of people were liking the two vlog flow, but I do not have time today to make two, sadly. This weekend, though, we're getting it. GoPro, ankle brace. All right. Super late, super late. It's funny whenever I say I'm late, like I'm on nobody's schedule, but I'm like, I'm on, I'm on my own schedule. I don't know. Some of y'all can relate to that. You're on a personal schedule and when you're late, you just feel like you're late, even though you're not really late for anything. So tomorrow there's this humongous skate park jam. If you're gonna be at the Oriole Jam in East Los Angeles, make sure you say what's up. I'm gonna be out there with Markel, the boys. Come through. Just remembered I've been illegally parked for like 15 minutes. Hopefully I didn't get a ticket or towed. Oh, I gotta grab my bike. Okay. There's where my road bike is supposed to be, and it's not there. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. My road bike is not here. My road bike is not here. Okay, let me take a quick look around, make sure before I freak the f out. What the f Dude, what the f <laughs> It's definitely not here. It's not, um, it's not anywhere around here. There's my car. My road bike is missing. Okay. Before I go ahead and assume that it's stolen. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> this is troublesome because technically I only pay for for this spot and this spot and this in this bike storage room and there's no cameras. There's no cameras, so I'm kind of I'm sort of iffy to go talk to the front desk about a spot that I don't actually claim. But like they wouldn't move my bike without it wouldn't just move my bike. And the other thing is there's open spots, so that if they moved it, I'm sure they would just put it in another spot. There's spots that haven't even been claimed. But I definitely have the only, I'm definitely the only person that doesn't lock their bike up, except for like this guy. This shit is not locked up. I could just take his bike. Wow. What trips me out is if it, I'm not mistaken and someone did steal my bike, they didn't steal, these two are locked up. These are locked up tight. There's a chain. Man. No way did someone take my road bike. Hold on. Oh my God, this is not real right now. Wow. Um, what I'm wondering is how, why would they not take the actually good bike? This is my first time in here all day. So last time I was in here was yesterday night after I was done riding with the boys. Dude, it looks like they didn't even try to take my, the purple unicorn. Or these bikes, obviously, because they're chained up. They just took my road bike. My road bike was almost exactly like this one. This, this is a felt F85. I had a felt F50 uh, with carbon fiber wheels and forks and aluminum frame. Uh, it's gone. I really think it's gone. I don't even know like what to do right now. I don't even know where to, what's, where to go. Like if I should ask the front desk. I'm sure whoever took it got in here and they went out this way. And the problem is there's no cameras in this room. No cameras and also zero liability. You sign a contract when you bring your bike in here that says if something happens, this place is not liable. And there's no cameras in here. And come out here. And there's no cameras. There's no cameras out here either. There's not even cameras on the other side of the building. Well, I guess there's that camera, but that's like a Bank of America. And I don't know if they'll even show me the footage if I was like, hey, someone stole my bike from across the street. Dude, what the f***? Oh, it's 
about to say, dude, I just locked myself in. Oh my God. Dude, I'm real. I'm just gonna not, I'm just gonna not freak out. I'm gonna not worry about it right now. I'm just gonna grab my bike. Let's go. Wow. I think I need to start either locking my bikes up in here. I'm completely astounded that they didn't take this bike. Completely. Because in theory, it's worth more than the road bike they stole. I'm assuming to like a regular person though, whoever, whoever took that bike, they probably thought that it's like worth more than the BMX bike next to it. They're, I mean, to be honest, to a regular person, this probably looks like a total little kid's bike. Like, Look at it, if you didn't really know anything about bikes, you'd probably think it's like a, a Toys R Us bike. You'd probably think it's a Toys R Us bike, honestly. And they probably just took the road bike because it looks way more expensive. Even though in reality, it's probably worth like 400 bucks. Wow, I'm, f I'm just in disbelief right now. I'm in disbelief. That was one of those things that I always thought would happen when I moved in here and started putting my bikes there. I was like, someone could easily steal my shit out of here. Someone could easily rob me from my bikes but I always thought it'd be my BMX bike, not my road bike. And I didn't actually, I always like, didn't think it would actually happen. Whatever. I really need to get on with the day. The sun is setting. I cannot let this stop the vlog today. But I'm really pissed. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm actually really pissed knowing that someone out there just took my shit. My fault for not locking it up, but I feel kind of like, whatever, whatever. Dude, I'm like seriously kind of freaking mad. Unbelievable. I'm really sorry to my viewers who don't really hear me curse that often because it doesn't, I don't, I don't really curse that often. It's just like moments like this where I just, when people get over on me, I just completely lose my temper, man. Cool, super cool. Someone out there has a bike. My fault. At the end of the day, it's my fault for not locking it up. Dude, getting a bike stolen from you is like the shittiest f***ing feeling. It's just, and it never, it never gets less impactful. Like, I'm honestly really happy it wasn't one of my BMX bikes that got taken. But, wow, man. Fucking, what kind of, some f***ing people, man. I want to know who got in there. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know things. I want to know what happened. The thing is, I feel like it's going to be a completely fruitless endeavor for me to try and pursue it through the office because I don't pay for the spot technically. Technically, I only pay for two spots and I'm using three. The spot that I'm using, I don't actually pay for. I was just kind of using it because nobody else had claimed it. And there's no cameras in there. So, I mean, honestly, I see sketchy people hanging out in the back of that area all the time. So, someone easily could have slipped back there and just like fished around, found the first bike that looks valuable, just grabs it right off of the rack and just gone straight out the back and just gone, just gone, 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 gone. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes you lose shit. Nothing you can do but just keep on going. Lock your shit up next time. Lock my bike up next time, I guess. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Well, all right, I'm going to skate park. Oh man, that was a great session. Uh, let's get my mind off the fact that I just took a fat L today. Oh man, it is what it is though. I do want to remind you guys, the new merch is in. We got hoodies, we got tees, we got shirts back. Everybody who placed an order and hasn't gotten it yet, you're gonna get it now. Plus a bunch of bonus stickers and goodies, a patch kit, all types of stuff. So if you're buying stuff off the site, I love you guys. You're keeping me afloat 100%, thank you. Uh, gonna keep riding for a bit. Well, today, uh, today was kind of an L, but at least I had a really good session. Tomorrow's gonna be sick. Uh, it's gonna be a huge skate park jam, or no, it's like a street ride. I don't know what's going on, but it should be dope. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all keep me sane, man. I think I'd go crazy if I didn't have a YouTube family. So thank you guys, seriously. Uh, thank you for all the thumbs up and thank you for positive comments. Thank you for just watching. That's it, I'll see y'all tomorrow.